Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for Coatl. Yeah, this one is published by Synapsis Games and distributed also by Luma Imports. It plays one to four players in about roughly 30 to 60 minutes. That's right. And in this game, we are competing to become the next uh, Aztec priest mm -hmm. by designing these coatl sculptures. And coatl are feathered snakes. Yes, yes. multicolored feathered multi snakes. Multicolored, yes. Right. And so we are going to show you how it plays. But before we get started, we would like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are going to get started. So if you would please direct your attention to the center of the table, we are currently set up for a two player game of mm -hmm. Coatl. We each have our own player boards and they are colored. So in this game, um, I am playing as blue and Naveen is playing as red. Yes. We each also have our three sacrifice tokens uh, as well as prophecy cards over here, temple cards over here. And of course, in the middle, we have our supply board that is holding the different uh, body parts of a Coatl. Like we were mentioning, in this game, we are competing to become the High Priest, and we're doing so by trying to carve the most elegant, beautiful, point-awarding <laughs> coatl. Mm -hmm. uh, and so whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. So over the course of the game, we're going to be playing several rounds, and we're going to be trying to build three different coatl. No yes. more than three. No more than three, yep. And so what is a coatl? So a coatl is a feathered snake. And so these segments that look like this are going to be multicolored. And I believe there are five different colors of these pieces. And so these are the body segments, so that kind of look like an S. So a completed coatl is a feathered snake that has one head, as many body segments as you need. So let's just put two of them on here, just like this, and one tail. So that is technically a completed coatl. Mm -hmm. I could even have it where there's only one body segment and that would still be legal as long as there's only one head and one tail. Right. And so over the course of the game, we are going to be constructing these in order to score points via these prophecy cards, as well as these temple cards, which is kind of like goals. Mm -hmm. And once somebody has constructed their third coatl, then the game will end. Yes. So that is pretty much the gist of the game. It's either that or if all the body segments have run out, then that will right. also trigger the end of the game. In a two-player game, it is more likely that we will complete three quaddle. Totally. Probably, yeah. yes, it's going to happen that way. <laughs> yeah. So the way the turn structure works is on your turn, you do one action, and then we just kind of go around like that. There mm -hmm. are no rounds. And so the three different actions that you can take are, first thing is you can take body parts from the supply board. So as if you can tell, there's like an outer circle around here that consists of all just two body parts per section. And then there's an inner circle that has two heads and two tails. So on your turn, you can either take two body parts that are in one section, and you must take both, mm -hmm. or you can take one head or one tail. So that is how the supply board works. When you take the pieces, they're gonna come onto your player board, and your player board has space for eight pieces. They each space can only hold one piece, just like that. You cannot take pieces unless you have space on your player board to take all of them. Right. You only refill the supply board once either all of the body parts around the outer ring have been depleted mm -hmm. or all of the pieces on the inner circle have been taken. And once that happens, then you refill the entire supply board. Exactly. But yep. until then, it does not get refilled. So that is the first type of action you can do. The next type of action is you can take these prophecy cards. So we are each going to start the game with three of these prophecy cards in our hand. Mm -hmm. And the basic anatomy of a prophecy card is, if you look at them, the very bottom area here tells you what the requirement is. It's kind of like a blueprint for constructing a, a coatl. Yep. These cards are going to score you points if you have whatever the configuration shown at the bottom, if you have them in your coatl. So in, the, in this card example, it wants a combination of red, green, red, green, specifically in this orientation with the red being closer to the head and the green being closer to the tail. Yep. And if you have at least one of these in your quaddle, then it's going to score you five points. That is what the top left-hand corner shows. One time, five points. And down here is just kind of like a reminder. Some of them will be able to be scored multiple times. So in this example, this just wants you to have green body segments. And I should also mention that you can substitute heads and tails for the body segments mm -hmm. in the middle. The uh, head and tail on the, in the image only is, is only there to show you the orientation. Yes, for where, where you have to place it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in this card example, if you have three, which is at the very top here, three green uh, body parts in anywhere on your one quaddle, then it's going to score you two points. If you have four of them, you score three points. Five of them, four points. Six of them, five points. Mm -hmm. So that is how the uh, multipliers work at the top left. Each quaddle body part 
can only be used once per card. Mm -hmm. yes. You can use it several times uh, for different cards, but only once per card. Right. Some of them will show these like X symbols on the sides. So this just means it wants a pair of two yellow body parts that are adjacent to each other that are not adjacent to another yellow body part on either side. Right. So that's how you can read this. And you can score this up to two times for, for, for five points. And some of them will have like this like white body part piece. And there are no white pieces in this game. So anytime you see the white piece in the middle, that just means it can be substituted for any color. And there's an infinity symbol, which means you can have any number of any color that is in between this pattern. So it's a red, blue, any variety any of body parts, yep. mm -hmm. blue, red. That is the combination that it wants you to make. And that can also include another red, another blue. Yes. Mm -hmm. So like I said, we are going to start the game with three of these in our hand. That's going to be private knowledge mm -hmm. so that we don't know what we're, uh, our strategy is. And so taking this action allows you to take any amount of any of the face-up ones or from the deck the top of the draw Face deck. Down, yep. um, we have a maximum hand limit of five cards, so you cannot uh, go above that. So if you already have three in your hand, then you can only take two. And then these will refill once you're done taking your action. So that is action number two. Action number three is where all of the, all of the, the actual action is in this game, and right. that is where you build your quaddle. When you're building your quaddle, you must take pieces, obviously, from your player board. You don't have to use all of them. You can use them in order to construct a new coaddle. So say they take these two green, and I'm going to say this is going to be its own coaddle. But say I also had these two pieces on my board. I can continue my action by saying I'm going to take these two pieces and construct a separate coaddle. So now I have two incomplete coaddle currently in play. Mm -hmm. If I have two of them that are incomplete, I am not allowed to start a third one. That is a big rule. I couldn't start a third one until I have completed at least one of them. Yeah, and you can as... only have two incomplete coaddles yes. going at one time. And as a reminder, a completed coaddle is going to have a head and a tail. Right. So obviously these pieces are not. If I wanted to add to a, an incomplete existing coaddle on the table, then I must attach pieces to, the, to its sides. You can only continue building outwards, just like a snake. Would be right yep. you cannot break up the pieces i can never join the two because i've decided that they're going to be two incomplete quaddles in taking this action you can play these prophecy cards this is the time where you play these prophecy cards so the way that that works is i have to have them in my hand i can never play them from the table mm -hmm. and i must play them to one of the incomplete quaddles that is satisfying the requirement at least once so this example was the one that we mentioned earlier where you get points just for having green body segments. I could technically play it to either incomplete coaddle, but I would play it face up and I would say, okay, this is now assigned to this coaddle. I can never uh, remove this. I'm gonna score this here no matter what. And I have a limit of four prophecy cards that I can play per coaddle. Right. So choose wisely. <laughs> and now I'm probably gonna have to try to build to that. And the other thing is now Naveen can see that I'm building to this and maybe it'll influence his decision as to which like a uh, hate pieces. draft, basically. Exactly, yes. <laughs> which means to take from the board. So technically, this one right here, the minimum requirement would be three green. So in this example, Monique would need a third green to be able to play this right here. Naveen's right. That was not a legal placement, but in doing this, it is. Mm -hmm. Also, there are duplicate prophecy cards in the deck, so you cannot have two of the exact same prophecy for one coaddle. Yes, it could be on two separate coaddle, yes. but not on the same one. So those are the basic rules to building. Once you've completed a quaddle, so let's just say I went and I had played these here from my player board, and I'm gonna say, okay, that is a complete quaddle. Then, first of all, you're allowed to play additional prophecy cards if you have now met those requirements, mm -hmm. up to four max, and you can score one of the temple cards. To start the game, we are going to start with one temple card in our hand, yep. private. One so right, yep. when you complete a quaddle, you can choose to either score the one in your hand or one of the ones that are face up. The deck is split up into two separate decks with always uh, two of them face up like this. Yep. So you can just choose one, take it. Oh, uh, these don't work. Bad but... example. You know what? We're going to do okay. this. I've completed this quaddle. And <laughs> this is not a good sure. example, but in completing this quaddle, I'm going to say I'm... I'm uh, I'm fulfilling this this temple. So if you notice at the bottom, it shows two requirements. The top one says it must not have any green body segments. And at the bottom, it says that it must be consistent of nine pieces. Yes, from head to tail, from nine From head pieces. to tail, mm -hmm. exactly nine. It's not at least nine, it's exactly nine. And so at the top left-hand corner here, it shows us our scoring conditions. And this means if I scored at least one of them, then I get three points. If I was able to meet both requirements, I get seven. And that's how all of the temple cards yes. work. Mm -hmm. So in this example, I've only met the top requirement, which is that there are no green body pieces, so I would get three points. 
So one of the temple cards would go face up here along with the prophecy cards. I would let my opponents know how many points this Kawadal is going to score me. Mm -hmm. And then all of the cards will go flip face down right. for us to score at the very end of the game. And those are all the three actions that you can take. You take one action and you just keep on going and going yep. and going. The last thing is that we each also have these sacrifice tokens and they do different things. This one is called the perfect pick and it allows you to take the, the two body segments from the bag that you want. You get to choose the color or one head or one tail. And then you must replenish the whole um, supply board. Exactly. That's what this does. So yeah, and you get to basically choose exactly what you want. Yes. Mm -hmm. And playing these tokens are in place of your action. So you don't get to play them and then take an action. It's mm -hmm. just one or the other. The next one is this one. And this one's called See the Future. And this allows you to flush or wipe the entire uh, face up stand of prophecy cards, yep. refill them from the deck, and then take that action, allowing you to take the prophecy cards into your hand. Up to five cards again. Yes. Yep. So that is that and the last one is the priest commitment and what this allows you to do is it allows you to reserve one of the temple cards into your hand that's it those are the three sacrifice tokens you don't get any bonus points at the end of the game for not using that's them use them or lose so them. Yep. May, might as well uh, use them and so the game continues until either we've run out of body parts in the bag and on the board or somebody has completed their third quaddle uh, if somebody completes their third quaddle, so say I complete mine, then all other players get an, get one to two additional turns. If your turn order comes after me and mm -hmm. I'm going to end of the game, you get two turns. Right. If you're before me, you get one turn. And whoever ends the game doesn't get any more turns. So basically you finish the round plus one round, but if you ended the game, you are completely out of the game. Yeah. That's I mean, yeah. in essence, you've completed your third quaddle, right. so there's nothing more for you to do. Exactly. So, and then you go into end game scoring, you calculate all the points you've amassed through the prophecy cards as well as the temple cards. And whoever has the most points becomes the new Aztec priest. That's it. That's the entire game. That's it. Yep. So we are going to clean up yes. and then uh, we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we are all set up, but we now need to determine turn order because it's going to determine how many prophecy cards we start the yes, game with. Yes, that's right. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, oh so my I gosh. Win, so that's, I get three. It's been a while since you've started first. I, think. I went paper. So because Naveen goes first, he gets three prophecy cards and wow. I get four, but I have to discard wow, wow. one of them because we only start the game with three. with three. And if we didn't mention earlier, I believe the colors of the prophecy cards have to do with the different kinds of arrangements that you'll see. The, the, the different type of scoring criteria yeah, that they're looking for. They're kind of like classified, but they, there's no like set collection or anything like that no, in terms of the colors. Yeah, it's so. not like score three black cards or green cards or anything yeah. like that. Okay, so, so I will... No, we also have one of these uh, hidden secret temple cards, by the way. Okay, so that's it. We are set up. Oh, we have our three prophecy cards in hand, as well as our one temple card, all secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh... What are you going to do first? Yes. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to take two body segments. I'm going to take these two black ones. All right. Just like that. Getting started. You are getting started. I am. <laughs> well, fine. I'm going to take these two body segments, blue and green. Okay, I'm going to continue this taking. Of body segments? Of body segments. I'll take these two. Uh, I'll take these two. Mm -hmm. Are you sensing a trend? No, i got to look at these pops. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yeah, don't forget to look at those. To look at these. I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's your turn, right? It is my turn. Okay. I'm going to take uh, some of these prophecy cards. So I'm going to take one. Interesting. And so this is not automatically refill. So I have I have four cards total. I can take one more. Um, I don't know if I want to spread myself too thin. Mm -hmm. Do I want to have another card or go out the flexibility? All right, I'm going to go random. Good luck. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was it good? Yes. Okay. Lies. Good. Ready? Yeah. All right. So I'm refilling oh. this. Uh, so that one's looking for a lot of red. It is looking for a lot of red. Red. I'm going to take this one. So I got me some yellow and red. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to take more body segments. So here we go. Uh, now that all the body segments on the outer perimeter have been taken, we must refill. And we didn't show you these earlier, but the game comes oh, with yeah. bags. That's all baggy. So this is supposed to be for the body segments. Yep. These are for the tails, and these are for the head. And if you guys can't them. see, there's a little printed yeah. uh, portion right in there They're for labeled. each one, so it lets you know exactly which one. They're cute. They are, yeah. <laughs> all right. Here, you want me to help you? Yes, oh, green. This is a good time to be green. Wow, green and black. Wow, this is a, okay, can we scramble that little bit? I, well. <laughs> That's scrambled. Okay. Ew. 
Okay. You can oh my it. gosh, what is going on? I mean, what are you looking for? I can't tell you. Okay. It's a secret. Yes, it is. Who's right. it? It's my turn? It is my uh, your turn, because I just did this and I created that mess. Okay. I'm going to take these two. Oh, okay. So you're going for green, huh? I did. <laughs> well, I'll take this uh, black and red here. All right. Mm. Will you take prophecy cards or will you build? Because we both have eight total, there's no way we can do this uh, Taking build a or take action. So. Okay, I'm going to take prophecy cards. Prophecy cards. Final answer. It. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking these two. So that means you will be building in the future. Boom, boom. All right. Expose something good for me. Oh. Well, okay. Was, was it good? No. Well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> all right, I'm going to build. Okay, so here we gonna, go. We're going to build a single koala, right? You can only, can you build, you can build two on one turn, right? Yeah, you can do, that action is so open-ended. You can build a new one, you can uh, add to a pre-existing one, you can complete one, right. play prophecy cards, you can do all those things as many times as you want, over and over again, in any order. Interesting. And this one. So I got a nice little snake going on over here. And I will, I'm actually gonna build a second coaddle. So I have this one coaddle here and I'm gonna build another one. We're gonna go like this. There we go. So I have uh, one and two coaddle. I've cleared my board. I'm gonna play this card towards this first coaddle over here. And basically it's looking for three uh, black body segments in a row and I can do that twice. Right. So that's there. So I'm just going to put that right over there. Okay. Okay. Are you done? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just a okay. bunch of building. I only have uh, one option, which is to build my quaddle. So I'm going to build this one just like this. So this is quaddle number one. Okay. We've got a, a green yellow theme going on and mm -hmm. I'm going to play two cards, okay. two prophecy cards to it. This one is looking for a green, doesn't matter how many yellow body segments are in between the green and another green part. And if I have this configuration twice on my board, it will score me six points. Nice. Right now I have it just once. Yeah, so if you if you stack it like this, the, the reminder's at the top and ah. the, the points are, yeah. It's kind of tiny, but just on that you know Space that saving technology. What it is. And then the other one is just for having green body parts. Oh, doesn't matter where solid. they are. So I'm just going to do that. Solid. And that's for that quaddle. And then I'm going to start a second one. Really? Actually, I'm going to add this one okay. to that. I'm going to start a second one, <laughs> but I'm just going to start it there. Single. Though. Single. Okay. Single body part. This is my my budding quaddle ready to be uh, expanded. That's it. Just those. Sounds good. I'm taking these two. Your turn. Took the one that I needed. I know. You did that on purpose. I did. All right, um, I will take, I'm going to take these two. Okay, I'll take these two. Gosh, I'll take these two. Which means, Which means we must refill again. Here we go. Good luck. All right, so two and two, so I'll take two, you take two. There's more black and green going out. We're going to be in trouble for some of these colors later. Yes. Potentially. So score them now or don't. Yeah. Okay, we have the last one here. Two options. Okay. Okay, so back to you. Back to me, okay. So now with this fresh set, let's take a look. Okay, I'll take this yellow green over here. Okay, I will take the yellow red. Okay. Wait. No? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Sorry. you're maxed out now. I'm maxed out. You know, I'm gonna take this red head right over here. Okay. Okay, your turn. Uh, I'm going to build my quaddle. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's go five. Let's add this yellow here, this green there. Nice. And then I'm going to do this. Black, blue. Black, wow. blue. Okay. And add this red one to the end okay. here. So I cleared off my board, which is nice. And I'm going to play this prophecy card right there. Nice. So it wants a, this prophecy card wants a black, blue, black, blue section, which we have right here. It can only be scored middle. once, so you maxed it. So yeah. you might as well expose it. Only be scored once, exactly. Yep. So I have two incomplete quadrants going. And I think I'm done. Okay, sure. So, uh, hmm. 
you know what? I am going to build, I think. Uh, one, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the max I can get here. So nice. Oh wow. I can do it twice for seven points. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you have two two segments of three each. Mm -hmm. Three black body parts each. That's good. Then I will put this yellow here, and then I'm gonna exp and then I'll put this green here. And so now <laughs> let me go ahead and expose all the things I'm doing. So this is going to be, uh, this one wants a yellow and black segment. So I have a yellow and black segment. I can do that multiple times, but it was never going to work out because I needed these three blacks to be all in a row. So they don't fully synergize with each other. Oh, that's I couldn't, a shame. Because I couldn't break it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So those are going to be hanging out there. One, two. And then I will play, I can play multiple cards, all right, in one turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a red, green, red, green, exactly what this guy wants nice. over here. So that's going to go there. All right. Done? Uh, yes. I'm playing a sacrifice token. We are sacrificing... The perfect pick? No. Temple card. This one. The four... Uh... You're going to wipe it. I'm wiping this. Okay. See the future. See the future. So I'm going to discard so just this go out. Ahead and, yeah, just put it right there like that. Or just somewhere where we know you're not going to... Do it again. So basically, lets me flush these. So if you put these in a discard. Sure. And then I can refill. And six. how many cards do you have in hand right now? I have two. Okay, so she so can draw take. up to three. Yeah. Now, two. are you allowed to flush any cards out of your hand also? Discard any cards from your hand? <gasps> I think so. I think you're allowed to. Ah. Uh, I think you're allowed to discard cards. We made an error in the rules teach, if so. Okay, so that C sacrifice token mm -hmm. allows us to flush the, everything you just saw everything you just saw plus i can discard any number of cards from my hand to draw up so this is like your only way of flushing cards from your hand that you don't actually want to play right it's not a bad idea good thing i said something good thing <laughs> okay i'm gonna take this one 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 so now you have three cards in hand yeah okay so you can draw oh, two more you gosh. can take from the top or from there I don't want to take any of the, the face-up ones, but drawing from the top of the deck is always, you know what I mean, <laughs> in games where you're like risking This would have been it. beautiful for me, but it's invert. Oh yeah, yeah, two. that's true. Yeah. I'm gonna draw one from the top of the deck. Make a decision after that. And um, and I'm just not gonna draw anymore because I'm already at four and I don't want to max out. Okay. So let's just draw this. Oh, go. is that, like that? that is not, it's not that's at all two what green, you have. two red, I have every other. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. Okay, nope. my turn, huh? Yep. Do I want to do a flush thing? You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a flush. I'm going to do exactly what Money did. You do that? Yes. All right. So this this thing is... So now those tokens have all been... Get it out of here. There you go. Exhausted. I'm going to do... If you'd like to discard cards from your hand... You I'd can... like to see first okay. what my options are. You'd like an informed decision? Correct. Okay. Like this one. It's very informed for me. <laughs> I don't think anything... Wow, look at this one. This one is you have to have one of a slew of black, green, red, blue, yellow. Just in that once. order. Yeah, in that order, seven points. So that's that. Uh, all right, would you like to flush from your hand and do all the stuffs? Yeah, I'm going to flush uh, this card out of my hand. I don't think you see it, but that's <laughs> going to go there. And then I'll take this one for sure, which just wants a ton of black, which is perfect for this one. Oh, yeah, we don't refill really uh, it. Then... I'll take this one that requires that's asking for yellows since I have some sort of yellow thing going on. Two. You know what? I'm actually gonna give back that 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 one for the yellows, I realize, because if I took it for this one, I can't play all the cards here. Okay, so no harm, no foul. Take back C on that take one. Take back C on that one. Uh, I don't like the fact that I did that whole flush and I ended up with only two cards in my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a top card, top deck it. Okay. I'll do it again. Ooh, risky. We're pushing limits. And I will I will stop my madness here. Done? Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. So, ooh, is this something that you... No. Okay. <laughs> that would have been awesome. No. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take some uh, body parts here. Let's go with the green and the black. Okay, I think I'm going to take some stuff. I'll take this red green. Perfect. I'll take the red blue. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a tail segment. Finally got a tail. Okay, I will go. do the same. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, it's still like, out there. Wait. <laughs> this has not been refill. depleted on the inside, and the outside has not been depleted, so that's going to remain that way. It's a I very think scarce looking. It's time to build here, so I'm going to build this little red piece here. I'm going to put a head on. 
So we got a head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, give me one second. So as I'm doing this, I'm gonna add this that card that I drew earlier, which wants all black segments. So that's gonna go here onto this. Nice. And then the one that I had earlier exposed, the, uh, the two yellow with no yellows next to it. So this one is the two yellow segment, red and a black. So there's no yellows next to a two yellow segment. That'll also be played here. So now I can play no more cards to the segment here. Yep. That's why I put that one back because Maxed out. Would have been useless. So I'm still in the building process. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will do. Let's Ooh, do. Oh, I see what you're about to do. Let's not do that one. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven and twelve. Okay. So I have now completed a coaddle. This is the first time we've done it. I have twelve segments here. So after I you finish a coaddle, um, you can take one of the temple cards from your hands and play it towards it, or one of the two face up. For me, I'm going to play the one face up here. And I'm looking at this one right over here. There's two criteria to score. The top criteria is you want an equal number of red segments as you do um, yellow segments, okay? And then the bottom here is you want a, a coatl of 12 uh, in length. Mm -hmm. So I get to score both of these, correct? Yep, because okay. you have two red here, two yellow, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Exactly, yep. Okay, so that is that. So that is gonna Perfect. score seven points at the end of the game that will now flip all these down. So you have to announce your score. How many points is okay, this Kuala worth? So word? seven plus I did this once, so plus two, that's nine. I did this to the max six, so that's a 14. I did this once, so plus another one, 15. And then I did this twice plus another seven, so 22? Yep. Okay, 22. 22 point Kuala, all right. So then those get flipped quadl. upside down. I need to remember in my mind that I need to be 22 points. And I'm just gonna rest its head right on that right there. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. And Cute, good job. That is that. So this temple says no blue segments, and then the uh, black seg segments must equal the red. Correct. This one is no black segments, and your quadl must be of length eight. Are you finished? Yeah, I built everything. I'm not gonna play any more cards here, just because I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Okay, I am going to spend a sacrifice token, okay. which is the one that lets me take from the bag. The oh perfect my gosh. Pitch. Do you know which colors you would like? I just realized this means that you're going to be It'll able to take. Hold on, hold thing. on. Oh. I don't know if that's true. Okay. Maybe you'll want me to do that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spend my other sacrifice token, which lets me just reserve a temple card. Sure. So I'm going to reserve this one. Nice. Into my, into my hand. All right. Your wow. Turn. I cannot believe you just exposed this for me. No. Red to green with six. <laughs> I am so close to just doing that. I can just finish this thing off. Oh my god, please don't do that. I have my own little reserve token. Maybe. Well, it is your turn, Mr. Oh, well, reserve token. Well, there's no need to reserve it because if you go for scoring it, you get zero. So, okay, I'll be the nice guy. I'll draw these two. Sweet. So we will replenish. I'll take the body. Yes. So we'll yep. So. Okay, we have a red head. Just like we had earlier. Lots of blue. Oh, there we go. Green. Okay, okay. And yellow. Oh, blue, blue, yellow. What are we missing here? Yellow, oh, no. And red. Looks good. That's it. So we are one third of the way through because one coatl has been created. That's right. Uh, I need... I'm going to take this red head. Nice. I'll take this black and blue over here okay okay i'm gonna take these two from the board nice because <laughs> those are the two pieces that i needed oh i was about to use one of these these to go grab, tokens but to go grab the same two then i spotted it on the board so yeah terrible i'll take this blue head all right i'm going to build oh no let's build some stuff so i'm going to add these two here wow, what are you doing over there two three so you've maxed out that green thing going on. What? Oh, I've maxed this yeah. out. Why not? Yeah. And then I'm going to play this prophecy card, mm. which is uh, for for um, sets of three three in a row green body part adjacent, uh, if that makes sense. And you can do at most two of them. So Very similar to mine earlier with the black. Yes. And then I'm going to actually finish off this quaddle. Okay. So I have a tail and I have a head. So this is a completed quaddle. And that's what it looks like. I can I can still play a prophecy card actually once it's been completed. This yes. is my last time to play a prophecy card on this quaddle. Afterwards, you can no longer add to it. Are you going to? Um, I hope not. I'm not. Good. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I had another one, but I guess not. You're like, this but is the I am going to. to show you. 
I am going to complete a temple card. Okay, what you got there? This one. So, a big so this one says no blue, which um, there are no blue, and then my black and red at segments. At the very ends there. Are the same. Amazing. So this quaddle is going to score me the full seven points for this. I'm going to get seven points for this card it's because 14. I have two sets of the three. So it's 14. This is for every green, and I have all. I have, I have more than six. Oh, plus but I get five. Plus so five. 19. 19. And this is for having sets of this green with however many yellow segments in the middle followed by another green. And I have two of those sets. So 25. So is that right? 25 to my 22. Uh-oh. Are you Gotta building any more? Make those up. Uh, yeah. You are continuing to build. I'm continuing to build. There's more. There's more. Oops. They drag. There you go. Yeah, I know. All right. So that's a done. That coaddle is done. So I'm going to continue with this. Oops. This one. So it's going to go like that, like that. Um, another red, another black, just like that. So I'm going to play three prophecy cards onto this coaddle. So this one is going to score me points for having a segment that has a red followed by a black. And I have oh. them here three times, which is going to give me the max five points. And then I have that synergy. this one, which is just for having blue. blue segments. I only have three of them, so it's not maxing me out. But it does meet the minimum requirement mm -hmm. for playing that card. Mm -hmm. And then my fourth prophecy card is the red with any number of black segments in between and then followed by a blue. So I have that here twice. Oh. A red, black, blue. Yeah, and over here, red, black, blue. Amazing. So that is the, gonna be the full Yikes. points for that. Um, and that is my whole turn. Amazing. I don't have a head or a tail for it, so it's not complete, but that's what I got. You're playing really well, Monique. I'm playing okay. Whoa. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about not having a, t a temple card necessarily. I'm gonna move this quaddle over here yep. to the completed. Just drag it on down. The completed zone. If you drag it by the head, it'll move on past. This way. <laughs> that was very caterpillar. Just wrap it around it. Oh, oh, it's got to so drag. So you can't pick up. You can only pull. There yes. you go. There we go. And now I have room for my last quaddle that'll go right there. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm gonna build. So I am going to build a head here. One. And then I'm going to build a new coaddle because one is completed, so I can have two incomplete ones. So this is one of the incomplete. The other one is going to be blue, green, black, blue, green, black. And then that's going to put this one over here. So this one requires a blue and any number of green and a black. So I'm going to get that one started over here. Okay. Hopefully that'll do something in the future. Uh, and then, do I want to continue building right now? Well, I have no true direction, so no. I no? will not be continuing to build, yes. Then? Uh, yes. All right, I'm taking some blue body parts right there. Yes, yes, I can see that. I'll take this uh, green and red. Okay. I'll take the blue yellow. Okay. I'll take this red green. Okay, we're gonna have a refill. Nice. <laughs> okay, do you want to do the uh, small pieces? I'll do the heads. Sure. So one, two, one, and two, two, we are almost, we're almost to the end. We're getting there, yeah. Because we just need to, it, once somebody completes their third quaddle, oh well, I think we're like a little bit more than halfway, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we're not exactly at the end yet. All right, that's it. Okay. Your turn. A lot of diversity here. Yeah, it's good stuff. Let's do. I'm going to take prophecy cards. Okay. But I'm going to start by drawing from the deck. I don't have any in my hand. So, so just one. <laughs> let's see. One. It'll give you a direction. Yeah. Help. You're oh. basically looking oh for God. some synergy. I'm going to draw more. Three. I'm going to take this one for four. Okay. I'm going to leave it as is. That's it. Just four. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice one for you. What? Blues, blues and yellows? Yeah, blues and yellows working here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that's not a nice one for me. No? You'll see why. Oh, okay. You're going to have to break some things up. Potentially. All right, I'm going to do the perfect pick. 
We're gonna turn that in. So, oh, so I good, I mean. Will be. Cause now you don't have to refill it yeah. at all. Well, I don't need a body segment. I need a tail that's not gonna ruin this thing over here. So let's tell you. Okay. Oh, I know what you're doing here. Yeah. I'm gonna take this tail. Okay. All right, I think it's time to build. I'm maxed out here and okay. we gotta just get moving. So I'll build this. I'm gonna complete this one right here and we'll, we'll readdress that in a second. Okay, and then I will build blue, green, and then I'll just wait there. Then I'm gonna do green, green, just like that. Green, green, red, red. Okay, perfect. So then I am going to complete this one here. So I'm not gonna lay any more cards down on this. this no more? This, yeah, there's nothing gonna work. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna complete this temple card here, which is it wants exactly two red and two green, two red, two green, okay. and exactly a length of six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is gonna give me uh, five points plus seven points, only 12 points for this one, not too good, but I'll take it. It is what it is. How many points? 12 points. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's that. And I'm only working on this one guy over here. That's it. All right, I'm gonna take a head. Okay, done? Mm-hmm. I'll take this red yellow over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna go green, blue. Take black, yellow. I'm going to build, yes. <laughs> what did you reveal over there? No uh, red. This, no red. Blue equals, blue. Oh, yeah, that's none of these are, Okay, I'm not gonna get a temple card for this quaddle, but I'm gonna complete it. I really just wanted to add three of these so that my, this one gets maxed out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna put the head and the tail. I do not have a valid temple card for this either in my hand or showing up there because it says no black and eight long, which is obviously not. <laughs> this is yeah. no red and blue equals green. I, I don't have any green. So I'm only gonna score for these. So this is gonna get max points because I have two of the red, black, blue kind of thing. I have it here and here. That's six points. I have six of the blue segments. So that's another five points, that's 11. I have three of these red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. So that's five more points, which is 16. And I have one of these, a string of black, blue, black, blue. Mm -hmm. So it's another five points, which is 21. Sounds about right. Yes. So that is a completed quaddle. I'm just gonna leave it there yeah. since I have some yes, space. space yeah. And then I'm going to start my next quaddle with just these two. Blue green. Cool. All right. I'm gonna take some prophecy cards. Okay. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So now I am maxed out here. Oh, this refills. There we go. Sorry, I don't wanna see your cards, but. Don't. Look, okay. To... I'm going to take a yellow head. Ah, man. Whoa. It's getting stressful. It We're at the very end here. Okay, so I am going to take this green tail right here. Okay. So it's going to wipe that, create a new thingy. Thingy. There you go. I'll take the heads, you take the tails. We've got a black Blue and a black. red. Okay. And then this. There's two. There's two. And last two. Alright, and my turn? It is your turn, yeah. Okay, I will take the red tail. Mm. Back to you. I'll take the blue head. Alright, um, I'll go yellow green. Okay, so I am going to build. I'm going to build right now. Oh no. So here we go. I'm going to put a red here. Along with that, I'm gonna play this card. This required three red followed by two green. One, two, three, two. There we go. And then in addition to that building, I am also gonna play, I'll play this card right here. So for uh, three reds, I get two points. So I just did that. Put that there. I will put a- Are you finishing? Yes. Oh, he's ending the game. Yes. Ugh. I'm gonna put this blue head here. And then I will put this, Triple yellow. <laughs> it's getting a little wow, this is a really long one, quaddle that you're making here. Two. Triple yellow there. 
because I put a triple yellow, I have a three yellow segment in a row card here. So that's gonna go there. So I have all those there. Oh. And let's just wrap it up with a tail, a green tail there. And so now um, choices of uh, these cards that I can I can play. So I'm not eligible for this one because I have red in, in there. And I'm not eligible for this one because I have one, two, three blue and way more green. So that's not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen because it's greater than eight and I have one little black <laughs> segment. But I have this card here. Ah, the big reveal. Now this one unfortunately is the whole, uh, the black segment there. Uh, that's gonna block that off right there. Yeah. But I do have, um, sorry, did I make a mistake here? Hold you on. Boob no, no, that's, that's no, fine. I made a boo-boo here, sorry. Oh my gosh, I totally made a big boo-boo here because in this building process, I was supposed to slip in a black in this turn right before I created this big behemoth. This was supposed to hang out there so I could have scored this twice. So that is going to cost me four points at the end of the game for not doing that. Well, was it in this turn? It was in this turn, yes. Okay, so because it was in this turn, we're going to... You're technically, gonna you it? can't break apart your quaddle. Really? But because it's in this turn, you, you, take, you can do a take back so you can just squeeze that in. If it was in this building process, right? It's in the, yeah, I remember I just put these three yellows all in a row okay. so I could play. And if it wasn't, then you let no, us know. <laughs> no, Because remember, I played this kidding. card with the three yellows. It's okay, supposed to so, slip in there. So slip it in there. My bad. And okay. uh, so let's, blue, let's green, that quaddle. black. There was a reason why I went for that. Even though that might win him the game. So I, I, don't know I need the four points. Idea. You win so many games, Money. <laughs> let me have one. <laughs> okay. okay. There we go. Okay. That's that. And now the temple card. Okay, so I have an I don't I have a one two black segments in here. That's why this is not valid there, but I have one, two, three blue to my one, two, three red. So that's gonna give me three points at the end of the game. So cool. let's calculate the score of this quaddle. It's three plus six, nine, plus seven is sixteen, uh, plus two, which is eighteen, plus uh, six, which is twenty-four. No. It's good. Yeah. So if I win by four or less. Probably then... not. He'll probably win by more. So because Naveen has built his third quaddle, he is signaling the end of the game. I am done. Um, I am in a later turn order than he is, so I, I get player. two more turns. Yes, turn plus one more. So as you can see, my quaddle is not... It's a baby. It's a... <laughs> it's a <laughs> There's baby. more that we can imagine Can you it. get to this? Yes. So the whole reason why I, yeah. I madly took the head and the tail is because you need at least a head or a tail Correct. for you to complete this quaddle. Correct. And I knew he was going to try to end it soon. So let me find out. I have one, two, three, four. I can go for two more two pieces. More. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to... I'm not going to use this. No? I'm just going to okay. take these two, the blue and yellow. And then now I'm going to... So it skips me. I'm so going to the build very last round. my quaddle. Okay. So it's going to be this here. So I can play... Oops. I can play this card, which is a blue, green, blue. Yep. And I'm only going to be able to score that once, unfortunately, which is only two points. And then I'm going to play these three yellow. It doesn't really matter the order. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I'm playing... With a yellow card. I have a yellow nice. card. Yep. So it's just for yellow pieces. I have four of them, which is only going to get me three points. And then I completed my quaddle and I get to score this temple. This one? Yeah. Okay. Which is no black segments and it is uh, eight in length. So it's going to be an additional seven points. Mm -hmm. So it's looking like this quaddle is only going to score me seven plus one, two, three, four, three. So ten. Ten plus twelve. Two, twelve points 12 for points. this quaddle. So we will see. If four if points is the difference. That was. If it is, <laughs> you win. No. If it isn't. It's okay. Okay. All right. So we have reached the end of the game. All We're right. going to go into end game scoring. So please excuse me, body yes. parts. You so, flip it over and we have the scoring tracker. You're supposed to take a body part of the player color that you are and use it as your red. score. So, so do you want to go one at a time? Yeah, let's do it. So do you want me to go first? Or sure, you? since you're so the first, first player. Yeah. Okay, so we my, can go in order of the quaddles that we built. Sure. So my first quaddle, this is, uh, we did this earlier, um, equal amount of red to yellow. Mm -hmm. And then 12 segments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. So that's going to be seven, 7 points. Do you want to do a... Continuous? Oh, or? yes. You are, you're red, right? Mm -hmm. That's seven points. Okay, then I have this uh, double segment yellow with no uh, yellows bordering it. Uh -huh. But I did that once, that's two. Two points. Okay, these are not in the game, so I don't want to confuse that. Uh, I have three um, black segments in a row, mm -hmm. twice. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. So that's right. another seven. Okay. 
So 16. Yep. And then I have a one single uh, yellow black, yellow black, so that's one point. Okay. And then I max out on having black all together. So I have, I definitely have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get five points there. Okay. So that quadrille is done and scored. That was 22 points. That was a 20, yes. And that I think was exactly what I did last time. All right. So I'll go next? with my, with my next one. Uh, this quaddle, it one. was the green, yellow, green, and I have that twice. Twice, yeah. And that's, so that's six points. Six points, okay. Thank you. Uh, I have just for green segments, oh, and I have max, way so, more than yeah. six, that's five points. Okay. This one is having the three in a row, and I have that twice. I have like one, mine. two, three, yep. and one, two, three, so that's seven points. Seven points, so you're at 18. Mm -hmm. And then this temple, I don't have any blue segments, and my black segments equals my red. So that's so another seven. seven. Yeah. So 18, so, so 25. 25, that's right, yeah. All right, so that's my first quaddle. Okay, <laughs> this uh, this other one is not too good here, but uh, this one is have a red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. That's five points, uh, not that color. Oh, yeah, so okay. 27. And then this one is have an equal amount of red, two red, two green, and then six lines, so that's another seven points. So this is going to be a close game, I think, here. Yeah, so 34. 34. Okay. okay, your turn. All right, so this one was my next one. And I didn't have any temples with that quaddle, mm -hmm. but I did have um, the black, blue, black, blue, which is here, so five points. So you're at 30. Mm -hmm. I had the red, black segments, and I have them three times, red, black, red, black, so another and red, five. black. So another five, so 35, five. you're on front. The blue segments, I have max six, which is another five. So you have uh, 40 points. And then this one is the red with any number of black in between, followed by a blue. Mm -hmm. I have that twice, right there. So another six? Yeah. So Actually, I have it three times, but it, it only scores twice. Okay, so six. 46. Just so you know Just that you can't so you go know. past the max. All right, so here's my last one. Okay. So the uh, this one right here only scored one uh, criteria because I do have a black, I have black segments in, mm -hmm. but I have an equal amount of uh, blue to red. So one, two, three, so it's one, two, three. So I get uh, three points. Okay. 37. Uh, this one, I scored this. This is the one that uh, I went back and kind of cleaned things up. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, so this is uh, blue with any number of green followed by black. Blue, any number of green, black. Blue, any number of green, black. So I did that twice. So How many points? Six points. Okay, so you're at 43. 43. Then I have this one uh, just for straight up red. Uh, so it's going to be... Two points. Two points. Yeah, I think I think you're, you're going to be okay here. We'll see. Three uh, yellow, so that's another three points. Okay. And this one, uh, three red, one, two, three, and then two green, one, two. So that's six points right there. Oh, that's, wow, that's a high scoring. So one, two, uh, four, and you just flip this over. Yes, so I have so 54, 54 points. My last one uh, was not that great. But you know, we... I think you're good. We'll see, <laughs> I, I think don't know. You're good. I don't know. So we've got the blue, blue, green, blue. Uh -huh. That's two points, do you wanna do that? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> It's like slowly We've got stabbing. the yellow segments. Ugh. There's four of them. So three points. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two, three. Oh, you're good. But we completed the temple. The one I no, showed you. <laughs> no black segments, and it's eight in length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven points. So one oh Woo! Uh, our 59. That was close. Oh, wait, you. 59 to 54. It's a good thing I, I, I made it a little more respectable. <laughs> I would have been at that like weird 50 mark. It's done. It's done. We have uh, completed the quaddles and... Uh, Good job. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we just finished our two-player playthrough of Quattle. And what'd you think? I enjoyed it. It's yeah. fun. I haven't played a game like this in a while. Mm -hmm. Where it's just... It's very abstract, but still strategic and thinky. Yeah. But also still light, right? It is, yeah, it's light. Yeah, what are it your is. thoughts? Um, same. I, I do like it. A lot of people are comparing this to Azul, and I don't see that comparison I don't really. See that other than like you take stuff from a central area, uh, but Azul right. is more like you know you take stuff, things get shoved in. This game is currently being compared to Azul as well as Reef, so I do see the similarities between this and Reef. Yeah, it's more much so. closer to Reef in my opinion than it is right, to because you have those cards that you're trying to satisfy. Yes, right. exactly. You're you're taking pieces and you're satisfying cards. Mm -hmm. But let's start with theme. What are your thoughts on the theme? Uh, I always like Aztec themed things. So um, oh. games that have to do with you know Central America or things like that. Uh, I like the art style mm -hmm. that goes along with it. I'm very very attracted to that kind of art style. Uh, so I think that helps me you know kind of put the theme together. It's an abstract game, obviously, so it could technically have been anything. But right, I do right. think it's cool that you are taking these items so that you can build a culturally 
um, important thing, uh, like this, these cor culturally representative or yeah, exactly culturally yeah. symbolic. Symbolic, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. It's very, uh, it's very endearing. The art style is really pretty. Like the the artwork on the cards are really nice. I don't know if they are. I don't know if they are symbolic of other things. Like I'm I wish sure. I could know more. Yeah. I guess I wish there was more. Uh, information about you know the background of the theme and the culture maybe the, the rule book or something yeah the internet, the internet go. has it the world wide web <laughs> but uh, i do like that i do like the it's almost like everything looks like it was drawn with color pencil i think mm -hmm. it's really really cool yeah and i've never heard of a quaddle before so i thought right. i thought that that was cool this is like expanding our knowledge on uh, certain parts of other people's cultures yeah, right did, yeah so i do like that uh components wise this is a very pretty game. Mm -hmm. The once you've finished building a quaddle, there's always going to be like different variations and the patterns of the colors. Yes. So it is very eye-catching. It has really wonderful table presence. The like I was mentioning, all the artwork is very good. Um, some of the cards are thinner. Yeah, the cards are a little flimsy, a little thin. Um, but you but know, not so bad. Just don't rip them up. <laughs> These bags are really thick they are very nice and they're really nicely adorned yes. they're a little bit shallow so sometimes when you put them in the in the box some of the pieces spill out but mm -hmm. otherwise these are like way higher quality bags than you usually get, you get in, some in games, games yeah. yeah and they're all uh like they're all labeled yes. as for the body part and all the plastic pieces are fantastic they're great mm -hmm. yeah no issues with them at all um in terms of replayability these cards are always going to be quite are always going to come out in different order orders yeah. mm -hmm. so that that is literally the game like figuring out how to synergize the different cards so yeah. in that sense it's that is where the replayability comes from totally yeah you know figuring out how to re-synergize every single time um in terms of player count i really feel like there's a sweet spot somewhere mm -hmm. i don't quite know which one it is i think it's like almost like a teeter-totter like there's some aspects of the two-player game that are great and then some aspects of a three or four player game that would be better i feel you know like it I mean? might be three Maybe, probably three because of that, that. That might be that pivot point. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We clearly haven't played it enough at higher player counts. No. Yeah. So this game can <laughs> cause a considerable amount of analysis paralysis if you are like really trying to make these cards work. Like, which pieces do I take? Which cards do I take? That when do you be... take them to? Yeah. And then in, mm -hmm. in watching other people build their quaddle on their turn, that part of it is lengthy. And also, if I see you play a certain type of card, now that changes up my thinking like, oh, okay, so she's looking for those greens. So now is there a way that I can kind of snake those away from her? Mm -hmm. uh, so that adds another level of complexity in thinking. Yeah. yeah. So in a four player game, it might take much longer. Mm -hmm. uh, in a two player game, it's nice because it's it's very fast and we pretty much just go back and forth just like how we were doing now. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing about two player game though is it's hard to flush the cards. The prophecy cards, obviously we have the sacrifice token that allows us to do that right. once each during the game, which is nice. But the temple cards, we don't. So uh, there are plenty of times where I'm like, my temple card in my hand doesn't work, neither do those two. Right. I just have to wait for Naveen to take one of them or I'm not scoring a temple card. Yeah. And that literally happened. One of mm -hmm. my quaddles didn't have a temple card attached. Yeah, that's so right. So yeah. I do wish that there was a way to take more of those temple cards. Maybe in a two-player two game, player. you start with two of them instead of just one. Something like that. Something like yeah, that. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the the main thing about a two player game. Yeah, it's the standstill in the in the, the cards prophecy cards also that, that are laid out. out there. You can always draw from the draw deck, but that's always risky, especially if you only have a hand of five max and yeah. you can't flush them. Right, because if you drop to five and they all don't work with your coattles, then you're stuck. They're with them. stuck. Yeah. But in terms of the actual game and the mechanisms and all that, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's a fun game. I, I do enjoy uh, what you're doing in the game. Um, the fact that it's very, very simple, easy to teach, easy to learn. Yeah, very, um, very simple concept. Yeah. I think that it's fun trying to figure out which color combinations are going to score for multiple cards. Like that efficiency, trying to be efficient in creating patterns that will double dip yes, in, yeah. in several cards, that is where the true magic happens. Yeah, that's the fun terms, part of the game. Yeah, for sure. in terms of scoring points. Um, the end game trigger is stressful, especially in a two player game, mm -hmm. because, you know, you're constantly thinking, do I want to build this like wonderful, really high scoring quaddle and like really take my time with this one long one? Or do I want to make sure I have all three right. kind of going? Because we played a game where Naveen ended it and uh, I only yeah. had my body parts, the body pieces of right. my quaddle, and you have to take more than one turn to take the head and the tail. Yes. So yeah. uh -huh. in that game, I was just stuck with only scoring two quaddles, and right. that is that is Killer. definitely you the need difference. to score three quaddles in this yeah. game. Yeah. You need to score three, or else you're probably not 
gonna make it. So that end game trigger can like really sneak up on you. I like that part of the game. I like the fact that you can just end the game. If, if I noticed that you're building like some huge thing that huge you're gonna behemoth. score, you know, <laughs> a, a nice temple card and probably all four of your other cards, I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what? No, I'm just gonna score a little dinky amount of points and then put the pressure on you. Mm -hmm. um, it's also interesting that, you know, when you can see the synergies with the prophecy cards, it's great because you can take them and work towards them. Mm -hmm. But when you can't see them, you're kind of figuring, okay, I need to do something. Yeah. So I need to try to make something work. So I, I, I figure the more you play the game, the more you'll probably be familiar with the different types of patterns that you'll see. Yeah. So yeah. if it's like, I need to put these yellows together, maybe I'll put them in a three configuration because there are cards that, that have that, that score points that, score that, points that mm -hmm. way. So, and I feel like that just, you get better at that the more you yep. play it. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, there's definitely an element of trying to make do with what you have, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And I think it's it's funny that it looks like such like, it almost looks like the pieces are like toys. You know, when we when we first opened the game, we were like, wow, what yeah. are these? <laughs> but as pretty as it looks, it's not a friendly game. No. No. You like you can see when you play prophecy cards in front of you, there's always that risk of like, okay, now my opponents know what I'm going for. Yeah. They are going to try to take those pieces before I do. Right. Right. So there's that element of the game yeah. as well. Early on my first coaddle, I had the ability to lay down some of the cards, but I was like, why would I expose this right now? Because I want to get the doubles on those cards. But you know? also want to have enough space in your hand. Yeah. But, you know, but when cards. I, but that's the problem with the two player game. I saw there was a bunch of prophecy cards out there that didn't really work for me anyway. Right. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just hold on to these cards yeah. and then just wait until I can get the two X on them and then go for yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So all in all, this is a very uh, light yet abstract and thinky game. I think mm -hmm. that I do agree it is closer to Reef. I would say that I probably like this one better, better. Yeah, than Reef. For sure. And probably wouldn't compare it to Azul because mm -hmm. strategy wise, it's just not the same. So all in all, uh, this is a fun, like a family weight, but like middle weight mm -hmm. you know for the for the family like th there is a lot more thinking involved here it's not so much like just pick this up and lay it down yeah um so you know there there does take an extra level of thinking in this game that i do like um so i do enjoy it yeah, yeah. i like it a lot too i um i think that it fits a like obviously we like to play heavier games mm -hmm. but this game fits a specific category of gaming for our shelf this is this game is perfect if you're looking for something lighter yet thinky. Mm -hmm. So I do like that it checks those boxes. Cool. So that is Coatl. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the playthrough. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.